Hey, you just said, Thank hang, you. On, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, for the record, right? No, no, for, no, for the record, you just said, I'm not loud enough. You weren't loud enough. Yes. You don't use your voice when you need to use your voice. Did y'all hear him say, let's you get said, started? said, I'm not loud enough. That's all I heard. But y'all didn't get started. But then I said, let's get started. All right. All right. <laughs> let's get started. Oh, I need a, I need a mouse over here. Like, it's oh, not oh sorry. Oh. I'll take care of you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's get those buckets filled. Let's hear some good stuff. Tell me something. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> All right, who's got something? Hey, Kim V in the house. How are you, darling? Doing good? Any new Doing all right? No. Personal, What's going on? Somebody share something good. Online? All right. Hi. It's for the Zoom. Speak loud. Um, my company name. Hi, my company name is Register with Check, so I'm good to go with all the advertisement as far as, you know, with the company name, so. All right, well, welcome aboard. Good job. Ready to roll. Not going to be a hidden uh, agent, a secret agent. No. Nope. She's got her company name ready to go. She's ready to roll. Beautiful. Anything else? Personal, professional. Oh We're my just God. not We're doing like anything. Rolling I today. Get some lives. Oh, I know. So I have my first deal with the, I'm on the seller side and the, on the buyer side is one of Keller William agents. I think I'm saying her name. Yeah. Yeah. Just right. yeah. So we've been negotiating all this. Morning, so, and we just got the contract, but it's kind of funny because we're both with Keller, but we were both advocating for clients. So we were so negotiating who, who negotiation? really hard, right it early this morning. So who won the negotiation? Of course. Yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. that was the right answer I was looking for. Yeah. It ain't over yet. It ain't over. Right. All right. Did we have another? Down. Did we have another? Yeah. Hi, my name is Chloe, and um, I'm just I just wanted to say today is my first day. So welcome in. We we got you beat. We have some people who haven't even started yet, but they will. But they will. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Going once? Going twice? All right. All right. Let's roll. Good deal. And uh, oh, here we go. All right. So again, to repeat some of the amazing events we got coming up as a reminder, right? First and foremost, Quantum Leap. If you did register, our regional hosting of Quantum Leap is tomorrow. Um, all day tomorrow. So the training room will be used for that. Um, if you have registered, um, come bright and early. And I believe it begins at nine o'clock. Okay. Um, next reminder again, we do have uh, Space Cowboys KW Family Night on September 24th. Um, you are, guys are going to be getting some more information um, a little later on. Uh, as the tickets uh, start becoming available, we will start, um, Greg and company and CW will start sending out information regarding that. Again, huge reminder this time, we have a certain number of tickets. I believe it's about 250 or so, right? 250 to 300 tickets. And if you have committed to taking a ticket, please do use them. This time around, they will be repercussions if you do not, okay? So please be, uh, please be cordial for that, all right? Because otherwise you're taking away a ticket uh, from somebody else that could have used it. All right, October 11th, as we said last week, Big Bad Bold is back and it's coming at a perfect time, right? It's a time in the market that we could really use it. Um, the change in the atmosphere can, uh, of the market can, you know, the bold can really trigger you to actually doing the activity to get your unfair share of the market, okay? It's a great way to end the year and a great way to, to springboard into 2023. Okay, anything you want to add on that? No, just, you know, get registered if you want to see what it's all about. Get and um, just come join us. Mm -hmm. And there's some information that I have on the next slide in just a minute regarding this. So I'm gonna come back to Bold in just a second, okay? But just as a reminder again, the couple of other events that we have taking place, great way for us to give back as well as for you to incorporate into your business. That is again, October 15th, we're having two events on the same day right here in our parking lot. One side is gonna be shredding hunger, a great way for uh, your um contacts and neighbors and whatnot to be able to come and shred their documents, their sensitive documents. 
uh, all we ask in return is that we uh, that they bring any kind of donations to the um, East Fort Bend Food Ministry, I believe. Uh, and at the same time, on the other side of the parking lot, uh, we are having our uh, pet adoption. Um, I think it's gotten like three names now, so I cannot quite remember. Every hound needs a home. Every hound needs a home. That is the new one. Yes, uh, or the or the the actual official one. Every hound needs a home uh, is going to be coming on the uh, uh, on the opposite side. So please uh, come and enjoy that time and pick up a new furry friend, just like Chad and Andy are gonna be, okay? <laughs> and- uh, We already have one, thank you. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. All right, October 20th is the HAR breakfast that's gonna take place at Sugar Creek Country Club and we are hosting, all right? So let's have our office participate. Let's come in full force and show uh, the rest of the area what we're all about in regards yeah. to that. Yes, let's Pam? Show up, show How do we sign up for that breakfast? That is a great question. Um, go into HAR. Yes, you can you can register directly through HAR and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty 100% confident that we will send out a blast. Okay. Yeah, so we'll take care of it though. We'll, we'll, we'll blast it out through the Facebook group and individual emails to everybody. Okay. And then of course, October 29th, we're backing it up with another event that we can uh, definitely take advantage of. It's a great, exciting time, especially for the kids and that is trunk or treat. It is actually taking place two days right before Halloween right here in our parking lot, okay? Uh, we're looking for volunteers to have decorated trunks. Again, you guys can do this in tandem, team up and, in, 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 uh, you know, and prepare it that way. Again, uh, we're looking for at least 30 to 40 cars and 30 to 40 volunteers. So uh, please uh, reach out for some more info. Some as well, so you can partner up with your vendors as well. Mm -hmm. And remember regarding these events, right? We're going to have classes put together that can you know, help prepare you advertise these events and how to lead generate through these events. Their next class is next week, actually. And Pam will be leading that. So. Okay, so look out for the calendar on that. All right, let's quickly, oh, there's the shredding hunger. And they, every house needs a home. you want to say something home. about this one? <clears throat> Can you update someone? Yeah. Yes. Oh, come on up, come on up, come on up. That's me, you can go first. Oh, that. well, thank you so much. Every house needs a home. All right, I'm going to be up here every week reminding you of how you can help with Every Hound Needs a Home. By now, you should have gotten a personalized branded email flyer from Greg. If you haven't gotten one, he says it's because he doesn't have your headshot. So if you don't have a flyer, let Greg know. That being said, we're going to um, basically what you can do with this flyer. You can use this multiple times. You can send it out to your sphere your friends your neighborhood your family um like today you can sit it out and say can you help do you have a gift card you can offer do you have a a pet item you can donate um in something like that if you bring back a gift card or a pet item next week we'll have a drawing for a small gift so we want you to be interactive we want you to make this your own event the pet the shelters are overwhelmed the rescues are they're they're you know, dogs are being euthanized. Over a thousand dogs were um, adopted over this weekend at a mega event and they're still overwhelmed and overflowing. So make this your event. We'll discuss another way you can use it next week, um, but bring back an item and let's let's make this a success for everybody. Oh yeah, yeah there's gonna be a pet costume contest. And my dog so, already has her costume, so. And if it's ma and if and if y'all are matching, did you win like the trunk or treat last year? Yes, I did. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Challenge on. <laughs> Make a face and everything. So, um, y'all heard this over and over again. We do the shredding hunger event multiple times a year. We are always doing what we can to help East Fort Bend Human Needs Ministry keep their pantry full for people in need. Um, the shredding part is super important because we wanna make sure that people ha have a reason to come on over here. And a lot of times people have been, you know, filing their taxes and just have all their stuff ready to go. We're gonna give you classes on how to do the, your absolute highest level of being able to spread the news and your face is gonna be part of the thing. You're helping people in your sphere. So we'll be announcing classes where we will give you hands-on ideas of all the different ways to use this flyer. 
you're going to use it on social media. You might go door to door knocking. We've got all sorts of great ideas. Those of us who have been doing this real estate for decades are that we still do it. It's not it, what's old is new. We keep doing the things that work. Be that person for your community. Old is new. What's old is new. <laughs> that means new. We're, we're, you can use both. You've got two different emails, two different flyers. You can use them both multiple times in different ways. So don't let it go to waste. Yeah, one, one is not enough. One's we'll, be, not enough. we'll be checking on it. It's never one Thank and done. Ladies, appreciate y'all. Yes, good info. She's taking numbers and names. <laughs> All right, so a quick follow-up on the bold that we were talking about. We want, oh, never mind, sorry, the screen is catching on up. Bold. On to bold again, okay? So we also want to talk about a cool program that we always put together when it comes to bold, okay? Yes, is there a financial commitment? There is, right? Yes. Again, you're investing in yourself. Absolutely. It's seven ninety nine. dollars but at the same time, we try to do what we can to help you guys out. And we have an incentive package that we typically put together, okay? And that is that you can get credited for transactions during a certain time period during bold, okay? And that credit is $200 per transaction, okay? Up to four, meaning you can get your entire bold covered. Now, if you're putting in the work and doing the activity that is told at bold, you will see the results. Play at a high level. Okay. So you will see this form now floating around that explains everything. And it's showing that if you take a listing agreement, okay, during bold and up till November 6th, or you execute a buyer contract, full execution of sale contract, on, you know, from bold through November 6th, that is going to qualify. No, prior to registering. Yeah, so from the point you were. Kind of, kind of oh, well, I know Chad jumped you. in already. November 6th is not. Oh, okay. December. Good catch. Good catch. You're right. Yeah, December 6th. So we're going to have to get we're, we're going to get it adjusted. That's <laughs> between you and Chad. So that's between you and Chad. Bold. Chad is correct. He's right. That so should be December 6th. We'll get that fixed on the on the form. Okay. Now, here's the here's the cool part that we're doing to one up that. Okay. If yeah, if you commit to bold and are fully registered and signed up for full bold, your clock for that receiving that credit will start from the day you register. So if you register for complete bold today, your clock to get your credit start from today till December 6th. So the earlier you sign up, the greater chance you have of getting your credits, okay? To get reimbursed as a credit for bold, okay? So please, if you have any questions regarding bold, please reach out to anybody on leadership. We'd love to talk to you about it. And every year, you know, it happens. I've taken it every time because I've been here and I always have a nice kiss. And the early, the early mornings that you have to wake up and be there, this time it's in the office. Yes. It right. Is. That is so correct. that's not an excuse. And the minute you sign up for bold, when you commit, the earlier you commit, you're probably going to achieve more. And the other thing I've learned during these burr months, you have to do something. If you don't, then January, you twiddle your thumbs mm -hmm. and try to figure out what to do. And I did get the full reimbursement last time. It is completely possible. Um, but sometimes it, it is a hard commitment because it's $800. Mm -hmm. But if you commit right now, today's what's today? September, September 7th. 7th, you have this many months. Mm -hmm. to get your money back yeah but if you wait till bold starts you're already kind of too late yeah. good, good appreciate it yes and absolutely she's absolutely right i mean you're always working for the next 90 days right for production down the road 90 days and yes she is absolutely right biggest point is it is going to be right here in the training room right here in the market center okay i know all right we have two other market centers um signing up as well so make sure that you secure your spot right right yeah. Uh, we have got a new, yeah, well, come uh, up here quickly on atriumcoaching.com. We've got a new uh, scorecard for all of the PC program. So if you're in PC, go to atriumcoaching.com slash scorecard. Uh, and we're going to be helping you guys track your progress. 
and keep up with each other. We're going to be putting your pictures up on the outside wall as well for the top 10 that's going to be revolving every week. Uh, so go on there, go on there today. Uh, you can log in your first uh, scorecard and then we're just going to keep up with that on a weekly basis. So if you want to do that on a Sunday or Saturday, that works for us. Uh, and if you have any questions, give me a call. Otherwise, uh, just be on the lookout for your email for some upcoming classes. And we just started Caliber again yesterday. So we got a bunch of newbies uh, that I love. And then uh, we're gonna, just going to keep rocking and rolling. All right. All right. Thank Perfect. you, Brad. Appreciate it. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Go for it. All right. Thank you. Um, just a quick BBL moment. Um, we're talking about things shifting and moving forward. And so I want to be able to protect what you're doing in terms of your lead gen efforts. I'm going to go real quick. So um, just three outdated Instagram tips that you shouldn't be doing in 2022. Okay. Shouldn't be doing, right? <laughs> this is so that it can help you catch people in your web. So the first one, um, most people think that they can just go off of doing one, posting one to two times a week. That's outdated, all right? Um, now, posting one to two times is better than not posting at all. But if you can up your frequency and get up to five at least, five posts per week, that will help you to generate a little bit more traffic and help you capture more people. But what you post does matter. You've got your context matrix now, um, helping Instagram identify what you do for a living or, or what your niche is, is helpful, right? Okay, the next thing is, um, Stop creating single feed posts. Instagram's algorithm is very friendly towards reels. So when you create a single feed post, a single feed post means it's not a carousel, so there's no swiping. So it's better if you have swiping, but maybe you only have one thing to say or you just have one picture. It's better for you to just go ahead and convert that one thing that you're saying, either a quote or whatever you're doing, and make it into a reel. You can do that either by screen recording what you're having or just simply creating it as a reel and putting some music behind it. That's going to give you more traction and capture. Reels are put out there for you to capture non-followers. The non-followers only find you if you're on your reel, not necessarily on your regular posts. So this is one way that you can do that. Stop creating single feed posts, actually create it into a reel and then it will bring you more people. And finally, um stop writing long captions now let me preface this it's not dead for you to write long captions you actually want to write some long captions but you want to do this in a very effective and efficient way so for ig reels who are targeting your non-followers they're not going to scroll through a very long reel especially if your video is self-explanatory like when you're doing the points right? Or when you are doing a, a, just a head-on headshot and you're explaining something. Don't add a long post to that. Instead, to get them to engage, have a little uh, sticker tag that says, comment down below if this resonates with you, or if you, if you, if you, you know, share this with somebody who needs it, right? So have a main way to com comment to them and, or you can point them to a link that you already have in your bio. So that's my quick BBL. So lift your butts and get busy. Anybody on cool. Instagram and use it at a high level? I mean, at a high level. You know people are doing big business on Instagram. Yeah. Right. Reels are the way to go. You know what music you should play on the reel? Trending. Yeah, I was meaning you go listening to what's trending, and then you go pick that up as your music. Do y'all know how to identify old, what's trending? Way, right? <laughs> My account is old, and I know the music that's playing. He's got an account? You have to do reels that are every day. You're You're not apparently not his friends. Don't even, don't even play in yeah. the arena. And the content needs to be fun. You could hire a video person to do it and do it at a high level, right? I'm, I was just sitting in a room with people that create huge business out of it, and this is all that they focus on. And they do it, and they just have thousands and thousands of followers. And you can build a big business with Instagram. Yep. If but you don't want to, it's okay. Or you can outsource it and they can shoot the videos and go back and redo it. And yet I'm telling you, the world in these reels is so big, right? I'm old, by the way. <laughs> and even I'm going, you've got to get in this game if you're going to play it at a high level. And it's possible. Very, very possible. So we'll keep giving you some more information on how you can do this at a high level, what to stay away from, and how to maximize your time. Even if you're bad, you show up every day, you get business. Absolutely. <laughs> 
Absolutely. So let us know if you need some assistance. You can always, you know, reach out to me and um, we'll get something scheduled and help you out. And I think we have a, an IG class uh, coming up. So take a look at KWSW25 for that. It's sad. My biggest takeaway from that was that Chad has Instagram. But we're not his friends. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to be an influencer. Sorry, yet. sorry. If I am, I crush all. <laughs> that is too funny. Those juices still flow, don't they? I know, right? All is the new real. Uh, <laughs> great. Speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, Saharka team, one and only. Thanks for coming in. Welcome. Doing all right? Yes. Awesome. Appreciate you making the time in your busy schedule. I know how that is. So, yeah. all right. So, there's a lot of people out here that probably don't know you, like know you. So, who is Sahar? I didn't know you guys have pictures. Okay. That, that's that's the wonderful world of Norman. You Thank know, you, Norman. Magic. <laughs> you and I didn't know. So, so um, my name Tell is me. Sahar, um, and um, I have been here for four years. Um, I started. In February 2018, I walked to the office and I was going through a bad divorce and I wanted a change. I used to be a software engineer and a stay-at-home mom. Um, and um, I think at that time, what's her name? Danielle is the one that sat with me and she asked me, what's your goal? I said, I just wanted something different and I want a change. I want a, you know, a life that's by design, as we all know. And from there, the first thing I did is ignite and bold and i still remember the thing that changed my life was bold um amber rutherford was the teacher uh that was my yeah <laughs> she's all right, right? I, she's I, okay. I love her yeah. she's, she's in tampa awesome. she's Tam yeah. from tampa and she was talking about maps coaching and um it resonated with me the reason why i was going through a lot of personal challenges and in life if your head is in the right place then you can accomplish whatever you want so bold was the push and then mastery or maps coaching was what took me to today where i am today and i'm forever grateful i get approached every day by different brokerages and i don't leave and the reason why is for my coaches um, we all have a ceiling we all have issues we all have challenges and those challenges are in our head so if you learn how to see them in a different way, they become power and they empower you to do greater things. So that's how I started my career. And in mind that, you know, I was going through divorce. I've had help through having kids and I became a single mom suddenly. My parents are overseas. I don't have any support system here. And um, my three kids were at that time less than 10 years old. So they were very high. Um, in a very high sensitive area, but um, I use that as a uh, fuel to get me where I need to be. And they've always been my biggest why, and they're always gonna be so, because you know that's who I am. That's awesome. I'm a mother first. It's powerful. Well, so let's stay right there for just a quick second because we're gonna dive into your business, of course, and you, um, with what you have built is, you know, you're, you're very busy. So how do you maintain that work-life balance? What does that look like? So um, first, you have to time block. Um, blocking your most important, um, I think Gary said it in the top 100, your kids and your life, like your priorities should be on your calendar before even work. So you block the kids time and you block your personal time and then whatever is left is your work time. With our careers, it's not eight to five. So you have to work, you know, seven days, six days, whatever you choose to. But if you block the important stuff for you first, everybody's biggest why is different. And if you block that first, then you can you know, focus on the work. And is it challenging people around? We are in the business with people and people like to push you know, your limits because it's about them first. You know, Everybody is selfish in that matter. Mm -hmm. So you just have to draw the lines. And it's a daily you know, struggle. It's a struggle is real, but you just have to keep your, you know, your biggest why in front of you and keep doing it. So how do you deal with it? Like, what does your day look like? Like, so, give me something specific. Um, it changes. Like, we we are humans, and every every year, every every month is you know, if you have to be adaptable. So it changes. This year, for example, is different than last year for me. Now I have two in high school, my kids in high school. So I wake up at four thirty in the morning. Five thirty, I wake them up. So I need that hour for myself. And five thirty, I wake them up. 
6.30, take them to the bus stop. And that time I use to, you know, like from 4.30 to 5.30, I'm catching up on emails or Facebook or whatever I need to catch up on. 5.30 to 6.30 is their time. Then I come back if I have time to exercise. That's when I do my exercise. And then I wake up my daughter, I take her to school. At 8.10, my day starts. Mm. And then the same thing. At 3 o'clock, I have to be in school. And that's my biggest why. So at 3 o'clock, I stop whatever I'm doing. It's blocked on my calendar from 3 to 7. It's my kid's time. So I pick you know, my daughter up from school. Um, in 2021, my coach said, why don't you get a new phone? Everybody was getting another line for business. That might work for some, doesn't work for me. What works for me doesn't work for, you know, for everybody, but everybody needs to find out what's their way of doing it. So I got a new phone and I put my phone on my desk at home um, and I leave it. I don't look at it because if I look at it, I'm going to get distracted. And do I, am I perfect in doing that? No. I mean, chat sometimes called me during that time just to <laughs> test if I'm going to answer or not. So sometimes, you know, you just, your mind is at something and you keep looking at it. But if you do your best, you know, every single day, um, it's going to be always not a perfect, but you're accepting that you're doing your best at that time and um, block. I mean, then at seven o'clock, I catch up with my emails, phone calls. And then I put my kids to bed, you know, like it, that's my daily schedule, mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. And when somebody asks me, hey, can we meet at five, especially Californias, I work with a lot of out of state buyers, like five o'clock. And I'm like, um, I have a meeting. I can't do that. How about Saturday? So I leave Saturday for these appointments. Um, I do really believe people, if you put, teach them how to treat you, um, clients take uh, off to go to a doctor or at 10 o'clock in the morning or at lunch. But they don't make that time for us because they know somebody else is available at that time. You know, after work, six o'clock, we all have families. Everybody has, you know, important stuff in their life. If we teach them that, you know what, if it's important to you, this is the biggest investment in your life. You're not going to do it every day. You go to the doctor twice a month and you're okay taking that time off. Why don't you take the time off and talk to me, you know, at your lunch, make 30 minutes. So this is how, you know, you can treat people so they can mm -hmm. treat, you know, like you can put boundaries for people so they can treat you right. That's awesome. So you've built an amazing system for this work-life balance. How do you not fall into the trap of using it as an excuse? And because you have a short window there to get your work done. Oh, uh, so the activities you do during that time is what matters to you the most. So most of the time we all heard the 20%, mm -hmm. you know, 80, 20, 80, 20 yeah. principle, the activities that you do, you know, in that time okay. frame, if it's going to be beneficial for your business or not. So I know we realtors, we all have that up and hey, you know, anytime we can go grocery shopping, we can go, you know, run errands, we can do like meet a friend and everybody here knows me like i'm really not available during those hours because people meet up for lunch or birthday and do stuff like that and i'm like this is the only time i can work so i make sure this is a solid strict schedule for me to work it's awesome okay so let's talk about work tell me about your business today uh what do you want to know everything take notes no. <laughs> um no talk tell me where you are today how you got there. Okay. So um, today, uh, I did, I think, about 50 transactions this, this, this day, I think. Year about to that. Date. Okay. Yeah, year to date. And um, how did I get there? I got there from referrals. Um, and what does that mean? Uh, we all know Facebook. Um, we have a lot of real estate groups and in those real estate groups, people are always looking for agents from another state or another country that will help family, friend, client, um, you know, somebody that they're working with or they heard. And why is it beneficial for them? For them, it's beneficial to send it out because they're going to do passive income. So anybody that sends you a referral, you pay them back, um, you know, percentage of your commission. So people are motivated to refer you that business. And when they refer you that business and you take great care of it, then the 90% chance that you're going to be the realtor for life. Like the same thing that goes with clients, but it takes a lot of more than just, hey, helping their client. It's being on top of mind. Um, so I've worked this business since when we go back. I started and I was going through a divorce. I couldn't be in open houses. Everybody has a niche, you know. I found that to be my niche. I was available at, on my phone with my kids, you know, I was at home. That was my biggest priority. So I didn't do open houses, door knocking, you know, the systems that we, you teach in the classes. Mm -hmm. 
And for one thing, I'm known to be a rebel. So Chad always tells me like, you have to do this, you have to do this, follow the systems. And I'm like, that didn't work for me at that time. I didn't want to sacrifice my kids at that time to just be in the office or like on the road. So I took, you know, whatever works for me and I made it, I made the best out of it. And thankfully, you know, it just shows. Well, you work to your strengths and you took advantage, mm -hmm. you know, and you worked hard to accomplish that, but yeah. you make it sound so simple. Yeah, right? because I mean, so. it's at that time, I felt that it's a limitation that I can't be on the road, right? Mm -hmm. From that point, be having a coach and I'm like, okay, how can I turn that being at home for something better? So, you know, I got into social media and social media was, you know, the way, where I started. Then I went to, you know, talking with other realtors. There is zillion information online. Mm -hmm. Talking to other realtors, how they build a referral business. I learned how to do it. Start going to networking events with KW at first and then start making our own. So the realtors that I refer or like the network we have, we have our own events you know like we meet up it's not more like i would say work and work and being close like becoming more like family friends you know so we build relationships for life so go there a little deeper like what is it like what does it take to build a network a referral network like that <sighs> what does it take one you have to put the time into it like everything else it's hard work it's time and it's consistency so if you're committed to do something like that, you have to be able to give it all, your all. You know, it's not, hey, just I jump on Facebook and I get a name and no, you have to get to know that person, get personal on a personal level with them, what they care about, what is important to them and strengthen that relation, build a relationship um, from, you know, the same things that you do with clients or, you know, we get taught how to do with client follow-ups and, you know, birthdays, events, what's important in their life, get involved in their life. And you're talking about the, your referral Agents. agent. Okay. Yeah. So get involved in their lives, get to know them on a personal level and stay on top of mind with them. Um, and it's simple as, you know, on Facebook or Instagram, whatever social media comment on their pictures you know, have a conversation, how we have conversation once a month, get on a phone call with them, get to know what's going on in their world. And, you know, that way you are genuine, you are coming from a place of goodness and people want that, you know, we all as realtors, they are as realtors and we all as realtors have the same kind of struggles in a different way. You know, we all have the same struggles, life, life work balance, kids, issues with our clients. So communicate. You already have that natural connection with them. You know, be there for them. And when you do that, they appreciate it. And you're going to always have their, you know, kind of, I would say, vote. But you mm -hmm. know, you're going to always. So it almost sounds like it's like you're nurturing clients. The same thing. But the difference now is not your client, it's agents. Mm -hmm. It's the same idea. You're nurturing the agent so you can be their number one agent in the area. That's cool. And, and has this garnered typically, I just want to kind of go into repeat business. Like once you establish that relationship, do you kind of tend to see repeat business coming from these relationships? Yes, 100%. And not just from there, uh, from them. Once you earn that agent trust, it becomes everybody you know. So for example, we're going to talk about us. We have how many agents in our office? 700? 600 plus. You know, mm -hmm. 600 plus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those 700 agents, when they post in our office group that they need an agent in you know, Colorado, I'm going to have, you know, I have a Colorado yeah, agent yes, yeah. and, and if it's, you know, Denver, if it's in uh, Colorado Springs, I'm going to say, contact that person. Mm -hmm. So that agent, or I am, you know, if I'm on the other side, I'm not just exposed to one agent, I'm exposed to all their network, you know? So it's a butterfly effect on this why that I use is it kind online, of cool. you know? So yeah. anybody that you are connected with, if you are on top of mind, anything that they hear about your area, they're going to be giving out. And why do they do that? Because you're already doing it to them. So it's a give and take relationship. If you're coming from contribution, they are going to do that back to you. Yeah. I think so. I just saw you do it like two days ago, right? Somebody asked for an mm -hmm. agent and you chimed in. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate that. All right. So you said that, I guess, social media is how you got started in building that network. Now, I know you well. I know that events are also an important part of you yeah. keeping these relationships up. So talk to me about um, why you go, you go to family reunion, you go to mega camp, you go to spring and fall masterminds when you can, yeah. why? 
So the reason why is I want to, you know, like phone calls are good and, and you know, like uh, social media is good, texting is good, but being in person, there is nothing like that, you know, uh, humans, we need that connection. So I want to be everybody on a, you know, a, not occasional basis on a permanent, like, you know, just, I mm -hmm. want to be their, their friend in person. You know, some people, we do our own separate networking events and some we don't because of their schedule. So I make sure I'm there, I'm in front of their face because when we walk, like, like a client, if you walk, they're going to meet other realtors, how you're going to always be on top of you always showing up, you know, you're going to have to show up to do, get the work. So that's, that's why I go to those events. And when I go to those events, as you know, it's not just attending the classes. We do networking events that from like this time we did um, kayaking, you know? So in the morning we got a group together and went on the river and we kayaked. So we do fun stuff. We do, you know, of course, dinners and happy hours and stuff like that. But we also do other fun stuff that, you know, we can all network and build stronger relationship. So your day, like, for example, Mega Camp just went. So your day, what does your day look like at Mega Camp? Oh, um, so we wake up, meet somebody for breakfast that I want. Um, I don't eat breakfast or coffee. So I meet them six, seven o'clock in the morning. We can have intimate conversations that somebody that intentional, I want to build a, or I want to strengthen the relationship with. The people that I already have strong relationship, we meet in groups, but somebody I want to strengthen, I make sure every day I have somebody in the morning that I'm meeting for Somebody coffee. different every morning. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So somebody different every morning I have coffee with and that intimate conversation, usually in the mornings, we're all clear. Our minds are clear and um, it's a great time to just, strengthen a relationship this time I went and I met like Lori St. John if everybody and if anybody knows her she does luxury in um in Fort Latterville she double ended this year um a sale for like 13 million dollar so she's big and she used to be a lawyer and that was you know one of the most relationships I wanted to nurture so I nurtured that relationship it's awesome. And then afterwards, you know, of course, you get ready, you go to class in the middle between mm -hmm. classes. There is lunch also at lunch, meet somebody for lunch. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we meet as a group or we have a networking event that we're invited to and then go more classes. And then dinner starts at six o'clock. So my day starts at six o'clock for networking, like real networking. Six o'clock, we usually have events to attend. Nine o'clock is dinner and it's 10, 11 o'clock. Some people are having drinks. So I used to show up just for an hour and leave because um, you gotta do old. It <laughs> please yeah oh yeah old as that we just got that update yes old is the new new uh, and then you got to do it all over again the next and then day the right next day so I come back and I need a vacation after that <laughs> okay all right so while we're on mega camp I just want to take a second since it's still fresh uh, yes you do still partake you sit with Gary you've mm -hmm. done a lot of you know a lot of those things give me like uh, some nuggets big takeaways that you heard this time around. so every time I mean we hear Gary speaks is, he speaks diamonds I call it but every time there is something that you know that kind of resonates with me because of what I'm going through you know how I relate to it so this time around Gary was talking about his dog and um, how he did, he mentioned his dog. He said, everybody, all of us, we have some lacking in, the, in, in our lives, something that we lack. Like he might be like a great businessman, you know, he might be doing well, his company is doing like teaching, he's doing all that stuff, but his dog or family wise, he's taking care of his family, but his dog, he doesn't give him attention. So he needs to give him, you know, like some time. And as simple as like a dog um, last year, really I struggled with the life balance because I wanted not to turn clients down and there was a lot more than can fit in that schedule and I didn't have leverage so this year I said you know whatever is going to happen I'm going to take care of my kids and that is going to be my solid no like my solid no so it just reaffirmed to me that what I'm doing with my kids because sometimes you are thinking, okay, you're working for them, you know, or like, but they need you the most. My son said, mommy, you're always busy. You can't take me to stuff. And he's going to be driving in six months. So that was a wake up call before I went to mega camp. And when I went to make a camp, he reaffirmed that to me. So just things happen, the universe talking to me. So that was my biggest thing when I went to Mary this time is where you lack, that might be the time you need to just focus on building that because we are never perfect in everything. Mm -hmm. So find what is the one thing you're lacking in your life and focus on it. That's awesome. 
pretty powerful. All right. So, you know, I know, I personally know that, you know, obviously financial is a big part of everybody's life, but that's not what necessarily drives you, right? So what drives Sahar? Oh, now you're digging deeper. <laughs> we were having that conversation earlier. Um, I'm going to go back if we have time a little bit since you want to fill the time, but um, no, we're fine. I was, I was, I was a middle child in my family. And the reason I mentioned that, because, you know, when we dig deeper into the big why, like the why you do things, I was a middle child. My brother, my oldest got all the attention. My youngest, you know, got like spoiled. So I've never had attention. And from that, when I went to college or school, I always wanted to be number one in whatever I do. Okay. So when I started here, I was going through a lot of issues. And I still remember the first year I pushed um, strongly and we came to the awards. I still remember that day I got number two second place. And I asked Chad, who's number one? And he said, it's Jamie. And I'm like, Jamie has a team. And he's like, no, she operates with an assistant. That hurts. You know, like I didn't have any assistants and like she had a couple of assistants and I wanted to learn more. So I'm like, you know what, that's not gonna let me give up. Um, so I went back and I worked harder the next year and everything that wanted to do, it's not about money. I don't care about the GCI. It's good, you know, like the numbers, the more you work, the more you pay taxes. So <laughs> for me, it's just not like, <laughs> for me, when I paid the taxes at the end of the year, I'm like, that's not worth it. But let's make to... less so I can pay less taxes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's, I said, you know what, I'm just going to be number one. You know, that is a motivator for me. Um, you can call it, you know, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's, if I have a goal in mind, I'm not going to stop until I get it, even if it takes me three years, four years. So I wanted to be number one, and I did it last year. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. All right, so what are your big, what's your biggest challenge? Uh, biggest challenge... And today, mm -hmm. in your uh, business. it's working on my business, working on my business, not in my business. Working on your, explain that. Okay. So we all do deals and we grind and grind and wake up every day and serve clients. I got to the point where um, I wanted to grow and at 72 deals last year by myself, I reached my limit. You know, I reached a ceiling. So how do I grow from that without literally killing myself? Um, so I need to work on the systems and that's why we're meeting next week. And I want to build a business that can run with somebody else, you know, with other people's help. So I want to work through others, not just succeed to myself. So I want to succeed. That is Gary stop thing. It's like how you succeed through others. Mm -hmm. And with that challenge, you have, we are realtors. We're not good in hiring, you know, so I fire myself from that. Yeah. Um, we are good in what we do. So finding the right people that you're going to succeed through them and having the systems, so leverage and systems so you can succeed. That's where I'm stuck kind of, you know, and I want to just cross that. Okay. So um, I'm going to work on it until I get it done. You know, when you have a will, you have a way. That's you're right. And it's okay to fail, right? As mm -hmm. long as you're failing forward and you mm -hmm. exactly. do that a lot. Okay. What, a, what have I not asked you? Okay, that's that you feel like is important to share with everybody. Um, what I have not asked yeah, me, I just I advice. think, yeah, I think a piece of advice I would say nothing comes easy. We all go, you know, we all deal with challenges. Don't let that stop you. You know, there is a lot of information out there, there is a lot of people that love to help. If you don't raise your voice and if you don't work and wake up every day with a committed mindset you're not going to get there. You know, it's not going to come to you. This is not, and it's not just in business and life. You know, you just have to want it so bad that you're going to get up every morning and do the boring things until you get it, you know, what you want. So, and there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people just get on social media in the office. There's a lot of people that like to help learn from their mistakes. You know, you don't have to do the mistake again. So just wake up every day and do the things that you need to do in your mind. If you can't, if you don't know what it is, go ask, ask help for help. So that's what I say. I mean, that's, uh, that's uh, how I like to end this, you know, that's awesome. it's, and if I can help, be of any help, please reach out. That is so awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Sahar Khatib, right. appreciate you.
you know, she said some powerful things that, you know, should resonate with you guys, um, some, some deep stuff. So I hope you guys took note of that. Okay. Cause she works really hard and, um, you know, keeps it all balanced too on top of that. Keeps it all together. So thank you so hard for being here. Awesome. CW, where are you at, buddy? All right. We have some cool stuff going on, guys, that we wanted to come in. We have a special guest, don't we, CW? We do. You know, I kind of feel like the Las Vegas guys on the strip there doing this, you know? (laughs) Hang on. Let me see those real quick. Let me just look on there. Except this is uh, for a little bit different. These are the tickets we're going to be giving away, you know, for September 24th. So next week, we're going to be able to sign up for them. And, um, you know, you guys, um, it's it's for, you you know, KW agents and their family. So there's be four tickets for each, you know, each person. You are responsible to use the tickets or, you know, they're free unless you don't go. Okay. So um, anyway, but, um, you know, Houston's really, really lucky because we have a minor league team here that, you know, when, when they're rehabbing, like Lance McCullough was, you know, at, at Sugar Land. And, you know, we've got just, it's an incredible opportunity to see, you know, top-notch players and people coming up in the system um, who was the guy that just came up? Um, new pitcher. The pitcher, yeah, Rogers. I think. No. Um, Brown. Brown, Brown, Hunter Brown. Brown. Yeah, Hunter Brown. I mean, these are guys you get to see. They're like, you know, it's really, really cool. So anyway, without further ado, we do have a special guest today. His name is Orion. Yeah, then what? Where's all the IG people? Come on. Yeah, and so you know, like you know, Orion is an outer, outer space puppy dog. Yeah. Okay. Hey, every hound needs a home. Guys. Every hound needs a home. So we're hoping maybe Orion might come back for our pet shoot. You know, our oh, yeah, our dinner. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool, huh? So um, anyway, um, he's a he's you know this guy's like he's a good athlete. Yeah, you can cut up with him. And he's just stick around so you can take some pictures that you can share. You make a real. Hey, we need to see that guy on the screen. Uh, post on your, All right, over here. We'll come here so people online can see you. There we go. Say hi to everybody. Online. Hey, you go. Hi. What language? Hi. And just so everyone knows, like our office, we're sponsors of the Space Cowboys. So the, we have a we have a commercial that airs at the. Um, at, over there, and we also have um, a big banner, so a big, big sign over there. It says Keller Williams Southwest. So, like, if you won, when we go to our big game in September 24th, great opportunity to create your reels. In addition to today with the mascot, so you want to kind of leverage this for social media. I mean, this shows that you're really part of Fort Bend County. So, we all, as a brokerage, we form Farm Fort Bend County and then you as agents as well. So, this is a great opportunity. We're going to have a great time at the game. We grab drinks, we have fun, we take pictures. We're also going to have KW Southwest shirt. So we all going to come out in red KW Southwest shirt. You want to see a sea of red. Yes. So we're going to have the shirts coming in um, before the event so everyone can pick up their shirts along with their tickets. So it's a great opportunity. Remember, create your reels. Thank you for showing up. Um, anything else, CW, you want to say? I think that's it. Just um, let's make this a big event. This is our chance right, to have like a sea of red yeah. stadium there. So, yep. So he'll be around to take some photos with everyone. Cool. All, all right. right. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right, let's get our friends up here. All right, Dale and Melissa. I'm already looking at TikToks that I'm going to do with them. Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> she's going to dance with them. Hi, guys. Melissa from Patent Title Downstairs. Real quick, I want to hi. It's <laughs> often. Um, at Patent Title, we have an underwriter that will possibly insure the property 31 days after someone has passed away and their heirs want to sell. So um, if that's... But, instead of the six months that you usually have to wait with a title company. So if there is, if you're put in that situation where you have someone, hey, <laughs> um, that wants to sell the property quick, quickly, um, we could look at doing that within 31 days. Okay, so that's that. Um, and then I have my fun facts, super quick. See, I made it quick today. Um, do you know, hold on, let me get there. Hold on, hold on. Um, my fun fact is three presidents, all founding fathers, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe all died on the 4th of July. Did you know? Wow. That's my fun fact. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, wanted to talk just a little bit about, as we've heard, the news is, is that interest rates continue to go up. Talk is that the Federal Reserve is going to increase those also. So. 
in addition to rates going up, that is also increasing potential debt that some of your buyers have. If you guys have put gas in your car, you make a trip to the, to the grocery store, you've seen the impact it has on your budget. So the reason I'm bringing this up is that just recently on a file, we were required to do something called a credit refresh. Is anyone aware of what that is? No. Okay. So this is great news for you guys. Within 10 days of closing, we are required to pull a credit refresh on a, cred on a conventional loan to look for additional inquiries for credit or new balances on credit cards or any other debt that clients have, have potentially taken on. I had a client that went out since the time we pulled a credit report until our credit refresh on Friday, they've increased their balances on their credit cards, $24,000. How much of an impact do you think that made to their monthly minimum payments due on credit cards? They don't any longer qualify for the loan. The reason I bring this up is, is you as agents can give that guidance. Please don't go buy anything. Keep paying your bills on time. Pay down your balances so that we can make certain that we get you into this house. I'm having to completely modify this loan and add a different person to the loan and take one person off the loan to eliminate the debt to get it qualified. We have a seller on one side of the transaction that has a $75,000 deposit that they've already paid on a new home purchase. And they stand to be in jeopardy because the buyer of their home can't currently qualify. So please get with us. Please let your people know that they cannot go out there and make the trip to gallery furniture and start charging up all the things that they'd like to fill their house with. We're here to help you all. On that note, Title does the same thing a couple of days before closing. We will pull um, the, our title commitment for the sellers to see if any loan has jumped on that title commitment, you know, since the first time we, we opened title, you opened title. So um, there is a possibility. We just had one a couple of weeks ago, two days before closing, something, a lien went on somebody's, somebody's title commitment and they had to solve that. So that pushes back closing, closing. So. Absolutely. We're here to help. Thank, Thank you, you guys. All. Appreciate it. Awesome. All right. Josh. Welcome. Appreciate you. Come on up. All right. Home serve, home warranty. Yeah, we don't just hire good looking models. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep this quick. I'm Josh Kozowski with home serve, home warranty. Um, so uh, new face, yes, but not new to the industry. I actually have been in the industry for almost 10 years. We just relocated from Arizona. Uh, I'm now the Houston area sales manager for Home Serve Home Warranty. And previously, we were AHG Home Warranty, which has been servicing the Houston area since 2012. Um, we've got a lot of pizza back there uh, and some other things, chips, cookies, and things like that. I've got some flyers with our information um, in the office where the brochures are. Our brochures are there as well, um, possibly following up with an email. But I'm going to be sticking around and mingle. Um, there are several areas where we stand out. I love the opportunity to earn your trust. It's not just the home warranty company that you're, uh, that you're recommending to your clients. It's also the rep that goes along with it. I provide a lot of value. I really, my goal realistically is to take the home warrant, take home warranty off of your plate necessarily. So you could focus on your next transaction. So, um, Josh Kozowski with home serve home warranty. I will be around and probably grab a slice if there's one left over. Thank you everyone. Cool. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate the lunch, man. Thank you very much. We appreciate the lunch. All right, guys. Well, I hope you got a lot of value out of today. It was great to see y'all. Thank you. And enjoy your lunch if you're in here online. Make it a good day. See y'all later.